Hello! In today's English lesson, you will learn 10 idioms that use the word cut. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and back here is Hope. And we're here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. In the last lesson, you learned some phrasal verbs that use the word cut. In today's lesson, you will learn 10 idioms that use the word cut. The first one is cut class. This means to not go to a class that a person is supposed to go to. For example, the high school students all cut class last Friday because the weather was so nice. Number two, a cut above. This means to be better, for something to be better than something else. As in, I think this English lesson is a cut above the other ones I've made recently. Also, I've seen some hair salons that have, like the name of the place is called a cut above, to be kind of a play on words, a cut above, cutting hair and the expression or idiom, a cut above. It's kind of silly, but it's, it's kind of a cute name. Number three, to cut someone's throat. This means to be the cause of someone's failure or some harm that came to them. As in, he cut his brother's throat when he shared their business secrets with the competitors when he was drunk. Or a variation of is to cut your own throat which means to bring about your own failure. As in, he cut his own throat when he got drunk and shared his business secrets with competitors. Cutthroat, as one word, with or without a hyphen, is an adjective, which means to be competitive, mean, or aggressive. The job pays well, but there is a very cutthroat environment at that company. No one that works there is happy. I don't like this cutthroat environment, I would rather help other teachers instead of compete with them. Number four, shortcut. This is a faster and or easier way to do something or get someplace. As in, there are no shortcuts to learning a new language. It just takes a lot of work and time. I wish I could find a shortcut to get more YouTube subscribers. Number five, to cut a deal. Uh, sample sentences, he cut a good deal with another company to get the parts he needs at a better price. And maybe I can cut a deal with another English teacher so we can help each other out with our YouTube channels. Number six, to cut someone some slack. This means to be nicer to someone and to not expect as much from them. Some sample sentences are, I don't like him but we should cut him some slack because he has been really stressed out lately. Yes, I wish I could make more videos too, but please cut me some slack. It takes a lot of time to make these. Number seven, cut corners. This means to find an easier or faster way to do something or to save money while doing something. Some sample sentences are, you can't cut corners when making cars or they will not be safe to drive. And I may have to cut corners when editing my videos so I can get it done faster. Number five is cut your losses. This means to stop doing something because you are not getting better at it or making the progress that you need to make. Sometimes I think I should just stop making these videos and cut my losses and do something else because it's taken me so long to get 1,000 YouTube subscribers. Number nine to be cut out for something or to be not cut out for something. That means to be, to be cut out for something means to have the ability to do something. It's often used with not, to not have the ability to do something. And a sample sentence for that is, maybe I'm just not cut out to be an online English teacher and I should just stop and try something else. On the other hand, I don't think I'm really cut out for a normal job either. Number 10, cut to the chase. This means to start talking about something that is the most important thing right away instead of talking about something else first. Some sample sentences are, I'm in a hurry. I need you to cut to the chase and tell me how much it will cost to fix my computer. I'll just cut to the chase. 
If you're watching this video right now, then I really need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. And you can do that just right down here. There are actually a lot more idioms that use the word cut, but I didn't have time to fit them all into this video. But if you become a member of the Real Fluency family, and there's information about that up here, then I can make another lesson with the rest of those idioms in it, and then you will be able to watch that. Okay, now it's time for the practice exercises. Now on these, fill in the blank with one of the idioms in this lesson. Number one, he's been really tired lately. You should cut him some blank. Number two, we don't have a lot of time. I wish he would just cut to the blank. Number three, she's just not blank out for that kind of job. Now the homework this time is really easy. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, then that's your homework. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do that just right down here and down further below, wherever, depending if you're on a laptop or a phone, there's another red and white button that will say subscribe. Probably not in English, probably in Portuguese or Spanish or whatever language you have your YouTube set to. Please, 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 less than 200 more and I will have my thousand subscribers. And if you want even more homework, then you can also answer those practice exercises in the comments. And I will tell you what the correct answers are. And that's all for today's lesson. And again, like usual, if you haven't done it yet, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. And this time there's maybe a little circle thing up there, somewhere up there, this way. This, no, this way, Let's see. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way, that's it, okay. And um, if you'd like to get more English help from me, then you can sign up and get some emails up here and you will get emails and other help. And if you have time, you can also hang out, right now, this way, hang out and watch some more English lessons from me here on YouTube. Goodbye. And remember, with hope, anything is possible.